It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Here I have 16 ounces of Super White Merkins chocolate, two tablespoons of Paramount Crystals to help with melting, a silicone mat, a silicone spatula, some paper straws, and some apple sticks, a piping bag, our chocolate chameleon food coloring. Here I'm using some Granny Smith apples. So here I'm going to use my 6.5 by 5.0 apple stick. This stick will allow the colored straws or any decorated straws to be placed over your apple sticks. So as you place them, make sure you insert, apply pressure, and once you do that, you can get you a small paper towel or wet towel and just dry up any juice that comes up to the rim of that apple. And now we're going to melt our chocolate for 30 seconds. After the first 30 second interval, you want to take your silicone spoon or spatula and mix that around. Also, you may have to do a second interval of 30 seconds to help with the process of melting these chocolate candy melts. After the second interval, you wanna make sure you mix. Now, after your second interval, make sure you utilize the heat from your glass container or bowl, and this will help with some of the melts that has not completely melted. So this will prevent any burning of your chocolate. So utilize your glass container. This is why I like to use a glass cup because of the heat. It just helps me um, with the process of melting. And as you see here, I'm mixing and trying to get some of those extra melts melted down so that I won't have to do another interval. And as you see, nice and smooth, and now we're ready to color. So here I'm using the Chocolate Chameleon Food Color in the color of lime green. And you see I'm adding just a few drops. So remember, if you want a lighter color of your chocolate, just add in one to two drops or maybe one to three drops to get a lighter tone color. But if you want more, in the next clip, you will see I add a half teaspoon of food coloring. This will darken your color and I'm adding to a 16 ounce bag of Merkin's Super White Chocolate Melts.
Now begin to mix and combine your coloring so that you will not have any white left showing. And then you're gonna come out with a nice, vibrant lime green chocolate color. Now it's time for dipping. Here I'm using my bowl and I use a separate bowl because it is wider and it helps and give me room for dipping larger apples. And remember, after you get done melting your chocolate and coloring, make sure you let it sit for five minutes. And then you can dip. As you see here, I do a rotating turn. Or if you have a full cup of chocolate, you can dip right in and pull it right out. Make sure you shake off the excess chocolate and scrape the bottom of your apple and then place on your silicone mat. If you don't have a silicone mat, you can use wax paper, parchment paper, so that you can have a nice finished bottom. For all supplies that I'm using in this video, make sure you click the triangle to your right bottom corner of this video and you will see in the description box the links to my supply list. Now I'm gonna take my piping bag and add in a little of the remaining chocolate that I have left here to create my drizzle. Now my apples are dry, I let them sit out to air dry. There is no need to place your chocolate apples in the refrigerator, but if you are in a hot climate area, please note that your apples, your chocolate will take longer to dry. So make sure that you are in a cool area when dipping your chocolate apples. So taking my drizzle bag, going back and forth, creating my drizzle line. watching my video and if you have enjoyed this video make sure you comment like and subscribe be sure to hit that notification bell to always let you know and it will remind you when my next video will post and if you enjoyed this video be sure to watch these next videos that you see here listed on my channel it's your girl robot to go and i'll see you in the next video